Elk Grove, how are you? Hey, how are you, Matt? Nice to talk to you again. Pretty good. Uh, we had a nice little discussion last time about uh, uh, radioactive fracturing and minerals being indicative of uh, accelerated radioactive decay, and after listening to you and Martin, I decided to go a different research avenue and looked into nuclear waste management and found a bunch of articles on radiation damage to minerals by uh, scientists that are publishing uh, more in this century. Uh, and so basically, uh, I'm finding a lot of the same thing. Uh, they're observing the same phenomenon of the fractures occurring in the strongest part of the mineral instead of the weakest part where it would be predicted if it was slowly expanding. Have an 87 article and then some other articles uh, 87 article uh, is about a zircon. There's four or five scientists that contributed that paper. And so what I'm in the process of doing is uh, following up on a, find a close agreement by a group of competent scientists that specialize in this area. Which have have you done that do. yet? Well, I'm doing that okay, now. Okay, then I, I don't need to rehash the whole conversation here. When you actually get to that point, um, then maybe we can talk about it, except that I'm not a geologist, so maybe it would be better to not call into an atheist TV show, but instead actually go sure, talk to scientists. Sure, sure I agree with, with you on that. Okay. Um, it might be actually helpful to your show, too, if your call screeners discourage scientific discussion. Well, it, that will help, uh, too. Yeah, um, um, except that we're not here to discourage uh, scientific discussion. There are certain th elements of scientific discussion that we're okay with. Um, but if you, f in the cases where it were calls like the one that we previously had, where you're going to call and offer, well, you know, I, I don't have um, resources here to have that sort of debate. Um, but at the end of the day, even if you, your position was right, it doesn't do anything to tell us about or, or to, to disprove uh, the bulk of of science and demonstrate that a God exists. But what what did you have for us today? Well, I wanted to ask you some questions. I figured uh, you haven't had a discussion in detail about the uh, uh, the what happened to the Canaanites and uh, foreign national slavery in uh, Leviticus. And uh, I was wondering, have you by any chance uh, read the twelfth chapter of the Wisdom of Solomon? Book um, in the Septuagint. Uh, I don't recall. Well, what it basically? Oh, are you still talking? Nope. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm watching your mouth, and I'm, the words are coming over later. Yeah, there, there's a delay. I'll try not to watch it. That's a good um, idea. Yeah. I recommend that for everybody. Stop watching. Oh no 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 wait. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah. we got like well, twelve minutes anyway. left in the show, and you want to talk about the Canaanites and slavery? So let's get to it. Well, we'll get to the Canaanites. We probably don't have time for the slavery, but the Canaanites are addressed in uh, Wisdom of Solomon as being basically individuals that sacrificed you're, children, grilled them, and ate them. You're talking about a non-canonical book. Well, sure, but it's, it's not canonical to the Protestants. I'm not a Protestant. I'm Eastern Orthodox. Okay, but, uh, okay, sure. So, and, and, I, and I don't really care. I mean, you can pull from canonical box, the, the text in Deuteronomy, or you can pull from external. What, what difference does it make? What, what is the case that you're making? Well, the case I'm making is, is that uh, what is going on in the book itself, it, it's discussing how God was patient for years and years with the Canaanite, that he showed them the example of what happened to Egypt, which you probably don't believe happened, but uh, anyway, it's still in there. And uh, all this went on, and then he stated uh, that because of what you're doing to children, and these were not their own children, they were kidnapping Israeli children, they were kidnapping of other tribes and killing their children. And okay. since they weren't changing their ways, God decided to wipe them out. Yeah, and, and uh, what's your point? My point be, is he be, was justified in doing it. So, including killing their kids? Yes, their kids were killed. Yeah, you're a moral thug. In the city and, <laughs> and crushing their skulls. Okay, open. wait, 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 wait. I Kenny, 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 and do the same thing. I have a question. Oh no! So your 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 reasoning is that it's okay to kill the Canaanites' kids because they're going to grow up to do the same thing. 
Well, they would have. You're a moral thug. You are, you've lost the your moral well, compass wait, entirely. I, I actually and have like a different question. We're doing this when the Israelites are coming to the city. They were Kenny. You're an idiot. A two-year-old is not doing anything. Are you saying two-year-olds were, were killing two-year-olds? No, no, I'm not saying that. So I'm when they came that. in and wiped out their two-year-olds, the innocent kids, your claim is that that was justified. Two-year-olds can't throw rocks. Yes. So why would you I kill them? About them? So why would you kill them? What? Why, why would God have them killed? Who says that God had all them killed? I just asked you if it was justified to wipe them all out, including their children, and you said yes. Yeah. I, you said children. I didn't interpret that as infants. Okay. Um, Just like, for example... What, what does wipe them out mean? What does wipe them out mean and not leave any of them alive? Well, actually, they didn't completely do a genocide. A lot of these people were incorporated into Israel itself. They were proselytized and, and changed. Some of the people repented. Well, they oh. did kill all the Amalekites, though. He had the children killed there. Was that justified? Well, let me ask you a question. If someone's in Vietnam and a young child walks up with a bomb in a box to hand it to him, is a soldier, another soldier justified in shooting that child to keep another soldier? So you're asserting that all the Amalekite children were carrying bombs that day? No, uh, of course not. Okay, I'm well not. then why would so it why be would why would that even that? be relevant because you're you What does that have to do with what I'm saying? Because yeah. the Amalekites were wiped out by the Hebrews under God's command who told them to wipe out the infants, the children and the infants. He even goes to a special little little category there and tells them the children and the infants. So they went and they wiped out the Amalekites including their children and their infants and the question is Was that the uh, was that the one blessed is the man who bashes the little No, head no, head. That's no. A this is, this is... That's yet another place where the Bible really enjoys but this I guess slaughter of my children. Big question, well, my question, because you're talking about... Okay. Right, but I'm saying that it's, if he's going to command people to go, he's going to command the Hebrews to go and kill another group. And the Amalekites is an example I'm familiar with where he kills the children and the infants specifically. He even tells them to wipe out even the animals. So my question is, do you think that's justified? Do you know why um, societies back then destroyed everything, including the livestock? Why did Rome uh, sack Jerusalem the way that they did? We're talking about the why Hebrews here, because God told them. <laughs> we're, we're talking about whether God sanctioning something and whether or not it was moral yeah, to sanction Yeah, because you're it. saying that this is moral, no, right? The, the Romans, no, you wouldn't well, say okay, it was moral. First of all, by our standard of morality and the way we fight wars and do things, it's not moral. Well, then, uh, and it's the morality of an Islamic country, the way they might fight a war, it wait, might be... Wait, 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 wait. Kenny, are you saying that morality is entirely relative? That what you think is moral and what the Amalekites thought was moral? That there, we can't that you say... You cannot apply your standard of morality to a situation okay. of a people you don't understand. Oh, so yes, you, I absolutely can. You're asserting that Matt's standard of morality that so we shouldn't kill the children is bad? So you believe Israelite babies should be killed? And what did you just say? On the altar. You believe Israelite children should be slaughtered and sacrificed on an altar. That should have been permitted to continue. No. Because and when those children Kenny, up, Kenny, I swear to God, you better let me finish. Now, wait a minute. Wait, Kenny, let, me, let me just see. Kenny, no, hang on. Okay. No. I, Kenny, listen. No, I don't think that. Why on earth would you accuse me of thinking that? Kenny? Well, how can I? Am, am I still on? I thought I got shut off. No, you're on hold because you wouldn't let me finish. You basically said that I think, or do I think, that the Israelite children deserve to be killed and are asserting that that's my position, and I'm saying no. Why on earth would you claim that that was my position? You're the one that's... Can I answer it? Sure. Okay, here's my answer. When the children grew up, and raised by their surviving mothers who wouldn't have been killed either if the women and the children were allowed to live. They would have raised that child Kenny, and had been against Kenny, Israel and turned right around and do the same Kenny, thing. Kenny, what they the hell does... Offered a way out, though. They, Kenny, what the hell does that have to do with my position? You made a claim about what I believe, and now you're going back to tell me about the ancient Israelites did this and that and this for this other... What the hell does that have to do with what I just asked you? Hello? 
Well, it has a lot to do because if you allow these people to live, they would kill Israel. Kenny, you are entirely too stupid to talk to. I want to just make two points that I didn't get to make during the call. Number one is, I mean, just to clarify what you were describing as the misrepresentation of your position, right? Yeah. There are most people, I think, that would say that um, going to war with Germany during World War II was justified because of all the horrendous things that were happening there. They had to be stopped. And, and you know, you can argue all day about whether or not the, the tactics of particular parts of that war were, you know, humane, inhumane, whatever. But it was, I don't think there was any doubt that you weren't going to sort of reason with Hitler. And so you have sometimes something horrible going on, and you say, we're going to use force, we're going to go in there and stop this from happening. And that does not mean that you then go in and wipe out all the children, right? And just because someone asks and says, hey, I don't think you should go in there and kill all the Germans, all the, everybody, and including the infants and everything, and all the animals and everything, and then you say, oh, well, you just, you're okay yeah. then with Jews being killed in ovens? Yeah, I guess I mean, that's, that's what that exactly means. what it was. It's like, no, that, Why is, do you hate that the is, troops? is absolutely, it's almost offensively, obscenely stupid. Yeah. And then you, I had another question, which I wanted to ask was, wouldn't God have done better to protect his people's children? Like, instead of waiting patiently while the children are being sacrificed and, like, allowing children to be killed and sacrificed and brutalized by these people that are, like, you know, killing his people's children and he's not stopping it, and you're saying that his patience there is is like a good thing. His patience there is completely obscenely immoral. Nobody should be patient with people that are killing children. What the hell is that? I mean, how can you be... How can you even say, like, well, God was just trying to be patient with it. They're killing the children. You don't be patient. You protect those children. What the hell kind of God wouldn't protect children from somebody that's killing them on altars? I'll tell you, Wahoo. And, and then, the exact same kind of God that would say, screw it. I don't care who did it. Wipe them all out. Even their children. Yeah. What is this? So you let them kill What's a bunch of children, the and then you go and kill their children as a result. And it's just like, this is, it's just an obscenity. Yeah, you, your, your religion has completely poisoned your ability to think reasonably, especially on matters of morality and it's because you are put in the position where you have to come up with some kind of defense for something that you under any other circumstances would look at as a moral atrocity if the United States when we went into Germany or any other place if if our mission statement was wipe them all out we would be the same sort of a moral thug that your God supposedly is that is not it, it, this is not me. This is not me as a pacifist, or me saying that oh, the Canaanites should have been allowed to kill those children. That's that's but ridiculous. But here's the thing. I mean, you're talking about the same group of people and the same God in the same Bible, where He did all these things to protect them: big flaming fire and opening the Red Sea and swallowing up the Pharaoh's armies. And yet He just lets somebody come in over you know long periods of time and slaughter their children on altars, and He doesn't protect them. Plus, like, He's made our show end before I was ready. For for it to end, you jackass. Anyway, thanks a lot for calling. I'll be out next week. Russell will be here. I'll be up at the North Texas Secular Student Conference. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye.